Hello everyone, my name is Michael Young and welcome back to Fallout 4. Last part, we cleared out College Park and uh, turned in the quest to Night Riss. I never talked to Paladin Dance after that, he had another mission for me, that's a shame. But um, yeah, the next, the next, uh, the next mission for Night Riss is in the DLC, so we're not doing that. <laughs> well, um, we'll, 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 we, we won't need to bother with that. We'll get there eventually. Then we ran around in Cambridge and are slowly clearing out the place. I have a goal to clear out the area between College Square and the Caravan of Starnes, uh Mechanical Menace, or the Automaton, uh, Automaton DLC. I'm a little scared of this because that's a big fight with some really heavy guys. I don't think... I'd last very long in melee. I don't know. We'll see. So let's uh let's get moving. Yeah, we're just slowly clearing building by building. There was a rad stag at one point around here about. But I don't see it anymore. Bloat fly. And this looks like a military outpost or a checkpoint, which means sometimes you find like gutsies and um, no assaultrons. No, just just this one bloat fly. Nope. Nope. Blow fly was uh, Blitz was having trouble finding a space for me to get past. Glowing rad relish. Did you clear? Nope. Yeah. Black bloat fly, more concerning. There's mechanical menace going off. So there's a big fight over there between a lot of robots. And we're about to head that way. Okay, here's a suit of power armor, which I want. I want all the power armor. Can I get at this? No, I cannot. It looks like it's not much, just a helmet and a chest. But what is that? Is that T is that T60 armor? I don't know. Anyway, we'll get that at some point. I want all the armor. I want to have a little gallery of uh of power suits. Certainly all the major types. Can I open this with the wicked shipping? Not no. Tight. Often, you, often these trailers, um, the wicked shipping key will work on them, but not that one apparently. This is a nice little area, little river. Not really a river, a creek. Things are still going over there. Okay, so what do we got? I should get a weapon with a scope just so I can look at things from afar. We have a servo mech junk bot that apparently I can do this sliver of damage to. Ada. A swarm bot. Another swarm bot? Another servo mech junk bot? And an eye bot. Well, let's go get wrecked. They've seen me. There. Swarm bot. Jump bot. Another swarm bot. This is actually going pretty well. Um, but now I'm out of AP, so, well, almost. There. Anything more? Oh, I'm glad that thing died fast before I got here. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. That um, I expected that to be worse. Hello, Ada. My friends did not survive the attack. 
Thank you for assisting. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Are you okay? Thanks to your timing, my diagnostics show only superficial damage. I wish I could say the same for my late friends. Your, uh, your arm. It's, uh, a little creepy. I'm sorry for your loss. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. They must be targeting you for some reason. Probability is high that I am part of that reason. Besides myself, Jackson also created Turing, Hertz, and Porter. Our built-in modifications would be desired pieces of salvage. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. So why did you end up staying? Our caravan specialized in mechanical repairs and trade. The Commonwealth has an abundance of salvage that would benefit our business. It was a calculated risk. You couldn't have known something like this would happen. The probability of attack was high. I should have forced our departure. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader. The Mechanist. Who's the Mechanist? The only information I have comes from the iBot broadcasts. The false claims of peace and justice. The only certainty is that these robots bring only death. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this Mechanist. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench, so you have additional resources in this undertaking. You want revenge, don't you? I wish to prevent these mechanist robots yeah, I need from more destroying charisma. further innocent lives. Now, we last saw a group of the mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Sure. Are you sure you're up for it? Yes. I will not rest until the mechanist is stopped. So, we'll yeah. accept her Let's as a companion. Away. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there. But I don't want her actually to come with me. Because she's hey, noisy. Yes. And that's really my only complaint about this, this companion. She makes too much noise. <laughs> hey, Ada. What can I do for you? Go home. I think it's about time we called it quits. I prefer to remain by your side. We'll send her back to Sanctuary, just so that we can, uh... Well, she's noisy. We'll send her to Red Rocket. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's not where Red Rocket is. It's over that way. Ada? Ada. There's a church over there with some ghouls in it. You're gonna end, end, run up in, into trouble. I can see the ghouls from here. Oh, well. She'll Let's find her way. Oh, oh, I just lit myself on fire. Okay, so he wasn't a bad guy. He was a, uh, one of her friends. But we'll still take all of his loot. And he has a ton of loot on him. Ada, you're going the wrong way. Ada, this, this... Oh well. Okay. So, now that we've done this quest, we've unlocked things. Now things will start to be different in the uh in the Commonwealth. Cuz the other DLCs, the um the the god, yeah, what is it? I don't remember the name of it. Doesn't matter. Ada, Ada, you're you're, you're causing a fuss. Oh well. The other, um, Long Harbor or something? I don't remember. Anyway, the other DLCs are separate areas. They exist in separate maps and, uh, and are not at all overlapping with this one, except for a, a, a kickoff area. Essentially, an area that you can go to that sends you on to the new area. But Mechanical Menace and Automaton, those are just, um, they just inserted quests and, uh, new monsters and new areas on the base map itself. So, um, 
Jackson's holotype we'll read about in a moment. So basically, uh, we've, we've, we've unlocked things. Lots of little dynamic events where mechanical menace things happen. In particular, groups of robots like these will be wandering around from place to place. And we will just randomly come across them as we uh, play. Let's uh, look at Jackson's... Oh, I leveled up. Let's level up first. So, of course, we want Blacksmith to increase the strength of our melee weapons. Let's find something. Uh, let's find a place to get that. But, uh, what was I saying? We're going to listen to Jackson Tolitic. We ran into some hostile robots today. They were pieced together, like the ones we've been making in that workbench. Weird thing is, one of them was spouting something about the Mechanist. That they're here to protect the Commonwealth. Yeah, protected my ass. We managed to lose them. Those things were dangerous. Shades and I went back and picked up an arm we shot off. Whoever's making these things is an expert. Maybe even be on my level. I'll have to look into upgrading Ada and Hertz for some better protection. Okay, and so she had a diary, Zoe's diary. Which we can, we have to read ourselves because she, it's not a uh, not a holotape. If your name is not Zoe and you are reading this, then you are dead. Ramblings. So I decided to start keeping a diary in this little holotape. I thought it'd be cool to only update it at different terminals, kind of like my own little collection. Although half the time I have no idea where we are. Navigation's not really my thing. I leave that up to the bots. Today, we stopped by this decent-looking salvage yard. It's impressively not gross, and overrun with ferals like the last one. Uh, Liza helped me fix up this terminal so I could get down to business. Anyway, I think Ada and I got some pretty good defenses set up for now. We have enough supplies for a bit, so I imagine we'll give this place a pretty good once-over. I really need to find some good things to trade if I want a new pair of gloves anytime soon. Raiders are dumb. Raiders are dumb. I like to think that people like us are safe based just on their stupidity alone. They tried to steal something off Porter last night. A goddamn luggage-toting sentry bot. Porter wasted two of them, another one set off a tripwire while running away, and the last one, we think, tripped and just impaled himself on his own knife. That's why you don't run with sharp objects. Of course, waking up to gunfire isn't very cool either. I think it's time we moved on. Who protects the Protectron? We found this pretty cool factory with some decent Protectron parts. So Jackson is all hellbent on making us a little bodyguard robot. He's been working on it with shades all day. I'm thinking of naming it Hertz. I can't wait. I love Protectrons. Protect and serve. Oh, and totally authorized to use Deadly Force 24-7. In the meantime, Ada and I set up the usual defenses, and then she helped me dig around for fuses and stuff. Not that I'm lazy, but robots are the best when you don't do heavy lifting or feel like carrying stuff around. Seriously? So here we are at this rundown mom-and-pop repair store, when we find this trader hiding in the closet. He said he thought we might be raiders, and just hid there for an entire day and night. And yeah, it's as gross as you might think because closets don't have toilets or toilet paper for that matter. Anyway, he said we're pretty we're pretty near this area called the Commonwealth that we might want to check out. Said it's got a decent a few decent places for trading as well as an old General Atomics factory. I think Jackson's all excited at the idea of upgrading Turing. That old Mr. Handy has seen better days. Shopping spree! You're not going to believe it, but we stopped in an apartment store. It's like a dream come true. I already found some new gloves and boots, not to mention a pair of sunglasses that will make shades owe me huge favors. I'm pretty sure I can get him to take all my night watches for at least a week to get these babies. Turing had the rest of the routes charted to the Commonwealth. We also heard there's a place there called Diamond City. 
But yeah, not what you think. Apparently, it's some sort of old-timey sports stadium. Could be fun, though. It'd be nice to check in with another large settlement soon. And that's all she's got. And then she died. I forget whether I got sunglasses off her or not. Oh well. Yeah, nuke. Oh, a combat knife. That's cool. Automaton didn't really add much in terms of like new new weapons. It added uh, robots. Get out of the way. There. Anything else? What am I missing? I think I'm good. Anyway, let's, uh, did I get that? Yeah, I got that. So, they said they were just next to Watts Consumer Electronics, so I assume that's this. Yeah. And I think there are robots in here, maybe? I don't remember. Did I even come here before? I don't know. It's got shopping carts. So it's, you know, civilized at least. Terminal. More lore? There is. <clears throat> Memo. Ralph, just reminding you about the inventory coming in tonight we talked about. Like I said, this should remain off the books and kept between as few dock workers as possible. The units are heavy and will require the forklift, and that's all you need to worry about. Remember, Watts rewards employees that Demon start. They can be team players, Mr. Felix. Inventory checklist. Holodisc recording machines, blank holodiscs, rewritable holodiscs. Robot replacement power, optical lens, radio, television. Meh. So it was the one on 1010 that he was saying. It was the next one coming in on 1010. So there isn't an inventory checklist for 1010 because he was told not to make one. Ah, well. We'll never know what was so hot that they couldn't let us know and couldn't insert it onto their computer. I wonder if it was more of those protectorons that don't have any arms and legs, like we heard about in uh, Wicked Shipping. No, that was in the Robot Disposal Zone. Anything here? No. Oh, I'm just eager to find one of those roaming patrols of, uh, of uh, automatron mobs. They always shake things up. You'll be slowly clearing your way through a thing and suddenly a sentry bot's at your back. <laughs> anyway, let's head in to Watts Electronics. There's a joke there, but I'm not going to pursue it. Okay, so we're on the second, f we're on the third floor? No, we're on the second floor. And there's something in, oh, there's a hostile Pachectron there. Yeah, it's red. Oh, what's that over there? Mr. Handy. Mr. Handy's are dangerous. Let's see if we can get a sneak attack on that one. There's another Mr. Handy. We can get a sneak attack on that one. Anyone upset about that? Yeah, this is great. I can just go around and stealth kill everything. They probably, maybe, well, something's almost on the verge of detecting me every single time I do something. So it's not totally risk free, but you know, I'm getting some good XP so far.
I started. <laughs> I genuinely uh, flinched. It was just a rad roach. Camera? And some light bulbs. And is that a mop? That's a mop. Don't always get the difference between the mop and the brooms right on site, but that was... Oh, a clipboard! How would I miss... There's two clipboards! How would I miss that? Hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna go up and see if I can get a picture. We'll loot after we've cleared. I'm a little nervous. No, loot after we clear. The things down here? Probably, but I think I don't need to get them yet. Loot, loot, loot later, Michael. Yes. Anything in there? There's a quantum. I'll, I'll, I'll loot the quantum. We'll come back for other stuff. We'll have to do a full... Be very thorough here. Can we get in here yet? Advanced lock. No. No. Okay, time to go down. I think. We know there's a protector on there. Is there anything behind us? No. Oh, uh, a gutsy right there. Oh, a handy. A handy isn't a trouble. A gutsy is a trouble. A handy. Codsworth is a handy. Let's see if we can get both of them at once. No. As long as they don't suddenly like all activate at once, it'll be fine. Okay, this door requires the terminal. There's probably something good on the other side of it. Remote door, open. No, there's nothing. Oh! Just a rat wrench. I'm waiting for the sentry bot, you know? Oh, there's to a total Perfect. hack here. Includes the Protectron hacking source code. I'm a little worried that I might um, end up picking up something that will activate all the robots. So let's go around and keep killing them while they're still. Interesting. So this is a little loading area. I guess they are used to getting bulk shipments. We'll get that later. There's gotta be more to this place than just this. This is just leading back up to the top, I think. Oh, okay, this is the store itself. But, no, we've been here. I think we're good. I think we've, we've gotten everything. Okay. We go in there? But it's just a bathroom. Okay. Not as bad as I was worried about. I was worried there'd be a sentry bot. So, let's just loot the place up. Oops. We're here already. Oh, I'm gonna be running out of space. Let's see, do we need to carry all these guns? Were there any, like, multiple guns that we can get rid of? Not really, no. 
Okay, well, we'll have to make a couple runs in this place. We'll get some grilled red stack for now. Yeah, because we weren't empty when we came in here. We had gotten all this stuff from, uh, from the automaton kickoff. <clears throat> so, the let's see if we can get the entire upstairs. Probably not. But, uh, that would at least divide the... Oops. That wasn't what I meant to happen. Uh, can we get back up this way? Yeah. Yeah? Maybe? No. Yes. Bobby pins, flip lighter, silver fork, bunch of radios. Ooh, a clock. What are these? It's not clear to me what those are. Hmm. What's up here? Oh! Um. It doesn't seem hostile. <laughs> Assistant manager handy. That was a shock. <laughs> Clipboard, ashtray, some booze, some drugs. I can't open that. Needs a terminal. Let's read the terminal. Message 10.07.77. Shipment is procured and on its way. Leave your payment at the drop-off site in the amount we discussed. Don't get cheap on me now, Felix. These are some high-grade robotics I'm getting for you. Malcolm. Malcolm. I wonder what that's... It's not clear what's going on here. Disable military protocols. They're already disabled. All of them are dead now, right? Suck on it, Felix. Uh, dear asshole, I quit. Cooper. Safe control. Disengage lock. I bet that if we had... If we hadn't, um... If we hadn't killed them all, they'd be attacking for clicking on that. That was like a trap. Okay, we're out of money. We're out of space. So let's uh, let's head home, and we'll drop a few things just to get there, like that. We'll be back. There's too much good loot here just to walk away. Back to Sanctuary. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's so rude of me. Night time. Let's uh let's go cook stuff. I think we've gotten a lot of um a lot of things, maybe. Did I ever loot that? I did loot that, good. What can we cook? We killed some bloat flies, remember? That's how we got the rolling pin, right? No, that was how we no, I don't remember. And a Yao Guai? We did not kill a Yao Guai. We found a dead one. <laughs> you know, what? Someone is firing. Need some cover fire over here. Raiders! I didn't get a message that we, that we were under attack. Was there a quest that I missed? Because if Sanctuary is getting attacked, I need to deal with that. No? It's just a random attack. Oh well. I thought you needed to have, like, um, you get a warning saying, Sanctuary Hills is under attack. 
and then it gives you like a day to go and get there. Alright, I came here because I was too full of loot to actually do anything. So let's get back down. We'll come pick this up in a moment. But what was I saying? I was just, I, I am too easily distracted. Let's, uh, is that? Yeah, that's the druggy, The one that, um, that's what I'm looking for, actually. I'm looking for his chem station. Because I've been picking up a lot of drugs. Wait a minute. I hear gunfire. What is that? Is that Preston? Come on, go away. Get up. There. What is going on out here? Oh, that must be automaton stuff. They're killing someone? Is that... Uh, this might not be a good idea. Um, okay, we need to, uh, we need the drug. We need to get some drugs. So, we'll get some, some medics. We'll get some jet. I've become addicted, addicted to jet. That's not good. Um, we'll eat some mole rat. Now, there's three of these guys, oh dear. Oh my. Okay, we are like next to dead. I think we need to quanta. Quantum. Yeah, we'll take we'll eat some Yaguai ribs, sure. For some extra damage resistance. And where's my nuclear quantum? It's there. That look how fast it goes up. My Oh, it's not dead yet. Okay, I need to kill it. There's a junk bot. I bot. Okay. That's, uh, that wasn't so bad. We can deal with this. As long as there aren't sentry bots, then we can deal. We good? We're good. Now, what was that Brahma? Brahmin. Just a random pack, pack Brahmin. Is that Carla's Brahmin? Okay, before I loot them, I'm gonna go drop off stuff. That was exciting. See, that's what I like about Automata. It, it introduces new stuff. New, uh, new things you wouldn't know about. I had no idea there could be a fight over it in that direction. Usually there's like a bloat fly or something. What was it doing? Okay, so I was going for the chem station to deal with the drugs. And by the way, I'm addicted to jet now. How does that work? So agility minus one, because I did not I have not used a jet recently. I can't uh, I have to make some addictal. I think I have some addictal. Anyway, so uh, I don't I don't wanna wreck stuff. I'm gonna, but so I can turn a bu a buff out and a jet into a buff jet, which probably isn't a very good thing to do. So a buff out gives you what 50 max health and 25 max AP, but for like eight minutes or something. I don't remember. And uh, jet gives you it for eight seconds. So combine the two, you increase the duration of one and re greatly reduce the other. But buff tats. That will make it so you get both strength, endurance, max health, and perception. Because Mentats would give you perception and, and intelligence, right? Mentats is 2 and 2 for 5 minutes. By combining the two, you end up with uh, some of the benefit of both expanded for longer. But I don't want to give up my Mentats. But Psycho Jet, well, that's something to be thought about. Same with Psycho Buff. So Psycho Jet expands the um, the slow time for 15 seconds and gives you increased damage while that's going on. Psycho Buff gives you the increased damage for 8 minutes. Both of these are very good. I'm going to take a bit of each. And 
And I can't make Ultra Jet because I don't have enough blood leaf and fertilizer. Slow. T yeah. Ultra Jet's pretty good. I don't have Chemist, so I can't make it. But um, that might be worth spending some fertilizer on. Slow time is great. Okay. So, we need to deal with that, um, that addiction we just took. Carla? Where are you? Not here. I have some bad news about your Brahmin. Don't I have some Addictal? I thought I had Addictal. Oh, I keep it on me. Okay. Well, let's get rid of it. Um, cure myself. There. I am no longer addicted to jet. Okay, let's drop stuff. Um, sure, we'll put the mods in there too. I think I did that before already. Wow, we found a lot, a lot of different types of junk, too. There we go. Uh, armor? I don't think we found that much armor, because we're fighting robots, and robots don't have armor. But we've found a decent number of weapons, I think. Even though robots don't have weapons either, but you know. Somehow it worked out that way. I'm keeping that nuke grenade just in case something I run into something bad. Really, I was thinking I'd use it on um, a patrol, but a patrol, uh, an automaton patrol. But they typically, they typically don't take damage, extra damage from nuclear radiation. So I don't know. Maybe it's not the smartest thing. Anyway, did we level up? I forget what level we are. We got big leagues. We did, okay, we got the new rank of blacksmith. So, let's look at our old weapons and see what we can do now. Uh, we had a good baseball bat. We've got Big Jim. Our chain-wrapped aluminum baseball bat. That's, that's what I was looking for. We have our combat knife that I'm already using. Let's see, anything else interesting? Machete, we'll take a machete and see what that can turn into. The nocturnal baseball bat, which is unfortunate because I always want to be in the day, you know, so it's brighter. The pool cue, I already know is not gonna be good. Puncturing pipe wrench, that's the one I already have. Security baton, I think that needs intelligence. Because all the... I mean, I'm sorry. It needs um, science. Because the upgrades to it are making it like a shock baton. Or a better shock baton. Sledgehammer. Yeah. We've been looking for an excuse to carry that around. And a tire iron. I'm going to give up on the walking canes. We don't need to see if they're any good. We know they're not very good. But let's look at the rest of them. So, just for comparison... My current, well, I'll, I'll see on here. Sure. So, General Chow's Revenge is 89 damage. And it has a serrated blade only. I What's can't. Up? I can't upgrade it because I don't have science. But that wouldn't be an upgrade anyway. It would. It doesn't have the plus 75% damage. So, that has both. 112 and 20. That would make it better. Yeah. Okay. Um. The other weapon we've been using is the combat knife. And we can turn that into a stealth blade, which doesn't increase its damage, but increases the damage if you get a sneak attack. But I already am using the um, the heavier weapon when I'm getting a sneak attack. So plus 0.5 would put it around what? So it's at 60. So plus 0.5 would put it at 90 damage. But my... General Child's Revenge is 112, so 
I don't know. I think my, my combat knife is running out of purpose. The machete can only be made made serrated. And I can do that right now. So it would be a 96 on a mini medium weapon. Which makes it about as good as General Tyler's Revenge. So, no machetes. Big Jim. Now, I could make it puncturing before. That's what I have my other one. Extra Heavy is an upgrade from that. So it goes from 76 to 88 and has more limb damage and more likely to cripple. So that that's really doubling down on the um, on its uh, unique effect. Plus 20% leg cripple chance. Eh. I'm kind of not that enthused. The baseball bat. So it, we already made it the best it can be, right? In terms of material. It's currently chain wrapped. I can make it bladed. So one, 108 to 124. 108 is pretty good. Heated coil needs science. But that's pretty good too. That's actually very good. That's a nice bat. And all the others need science, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. Baseball bats can get ridiculous, but they need to, you need to be smarter about them. Is it worth going for a bladed one just for the um, slight increase? I don't know. I don't think so. I'd go for heated coil, though, if I could. Oh, well. So, sledgehammer. Right now it's 92. We can make it puncturing, giving an armor pierce and up to 136. That's worth thinking about. Heavy, 160. Wow. Heavy spiked, we can't get we can't get anything else. So I can make it heavy, and it'll be doing 160 on a sneak attack. Or 160 base damage and be likely to cripple. Or have armor pierce. Mm, which do I want? Armor Pierce, or... Well, when you're, when you're doing so much damage, the Armor Pierce doesn't matter as much. Once you've already met the requirement for um, dealing more damage to it, um, I, I, I don't know how to describe it well. There's like a... Um, basically, your damage, your damage threshold, your damage resistance, is compared to the attack, the incoming attack. And if they're close together, or you're well above it, then... Well, okay. If you're well above it, then you really mitigate its attack. If you're close together, then you get about what it says. It'll um, it'll reduce the damage by, I don't remember, like half? I don't know. But if you're a little bit above it, there's like a logarithmic drop-off. So, pretty quickly, well, not pretty quickly, but once you're above their damage threshold, reducing their armor doesn't give you that much more benefit. Basically, if you're using a very light weapon, like a machine gun, then you want armor piercing. But if you're using a sledgehammer, you don't need puncturing. So let's let's get four bits of, of adhesive, and we will make that a um, a useful sledgehammer. What about this tire iron? I can make it bladed, which will pull up to 84, which is pretty much not quite as good as my sword. Too bad. Okay. So I want some duct tape. If you have a better understanding of the uh, armor damage resistance mechanics than I do, please do let me know. Because uh, this is something I'm not very clear on. I just know it's a thing. <laughs> Hey. Okay. So we were going to turn the sledgehammer into heavy. And those will be our two weapons now. We're going to get rid of our knife. And we're either going to be hitting things with the sledgehammer. That's going to be our one. Or the sword. That's going to be our main DPS weapon now. So, DPS, or thud. No. 
it seems slightly more silly that that this kind of disappears in the hammer space. It's kind of cool though when you're in first per when you're in third person, it just disappears. But if you're in first person, it actually seems like you're putting it away, like onto your back or something. I wonder if they intended the game to be in first person, and then, uh, then had to come up with like a bunch of third person animations. Well into the um, well into development. I don't know. Okay, let's throw all these other stuff away. The Sentinel's aluminum rolling pin, while adorable, um, we're not going to keep that around anymore. Why we still have so much, so much, uh, so little space? What's taking it all up? Oh, we we uh, we. The sledgehammer, of course, is very heavy. <laughs> Maybe that goes without saying. But I can at least throw some, like, booze away. I don't need that. Um, let's get another quantum. That quantum really saved, our, saved us the other day. There. Don't need the meat. Sweet wool, whiskey. Okay, so our new base uh, carry weight is 119. Maybe that's reason enough not to use this, but I want to give it a try. I was definitely feeling bored by sticking with that uh, that knife forever. We got that at what, like level two. Hardened sniper rifle, that's the thing we were we took away to get more space. Uh, there was a third, like right here. Yeah. Okay. And then we saw robots and got distracted. Because I am very easily distracted. As you might have noticed. Yeah, they were. And they have parts. I'm not a big fan of the whole robot companion thing, so I'm not gonna bother with uh, building like the the thing until you need it for like a quest or whatever. Although I could make Codsworth pretty cool, or at least a bit less noisy. Did I get you? Yeah, I got you. Let's drop their loot. And then we'll head out again. Actually, no. We're not heading out. We're going back to Watts Consumer Electronics to keep looting. There we go. We don't need that many grenades. Yeah, this is 21 weight. So 21 weight just taken up by one weapon. Okay. Let's head back. Watts Consumer Electronics, right there. We're still trying to maintain this real diagonal uh, across the waist. The Commonwealth, I keep saying it wrong. Although I suppose the Commonwealth is technically a much larger place than this. This is just the suburbs around Boston. The Commonwealth, I think, is um, in the game, it's supposed to be all of New England from Maine to New Jersey or I don't know. Okay, heading back in. Did I loot this? I never looted that. Yeah, I, I, you know, I miss all these things if I never had to wander back and forth over and over and over. And this is the loading dock. Is there any way to get in this way? Guess not. So everything in here should be dead. We've cleared this place. We just haven't. We just didn't have enough time, enough uh, space to pick up all the loot in it, right? Everything's dead. 
Yeah? Good. Okay. So, where were we? We'd gotten most of the main floor. Then we went upstairs and got scared by the, uh, the last Mr. Handy assistant manager person. Yeah, we've been here. This is where we got scared. Yeah, by him. Assistant Manager Handy. With his own dog bowl. Nuka Cola. Duct tape. And this is the steamer trunk indicating that we have cleared the place. Really, these are just there so that um, the uh, Radiant missions have some place to drop something. Like the, um, the ones that Scribe Haven gives us, where um, we have to go find a thingamabob. It'll it'll always be in the steamer trunk. Some piece of technology from the old world. Okay. I think we got this place all cleared out. Oh no, we forgot a shopping basket. Don't and we can't get in there. This. Is there any way? I'm not really seeing good stuff in there, but I hate to walk away. Anything interesting? No. Well, it's kind of empty. I guess I'm not feeling too bad about not being able to go in there. Up on top. A security gate that's expert locked. And it's got a safe that's open and has looks like looks like fat man ammo. Ammo it looks like a nuclear bomb, essentially. And there's a stealth kit and a phone. Of the, oh, there's a typewriter too. Of all that, it's the phone that I'm reject um sad about not getting. Anyway. Extinguisher. Don't know how I missed that. Bucket. Broom. Did I come down this way? Yeah, I came this way. Okay. Rather, I came up this way. When I was going down the first time, I just jumped off and fell onto that massive jump there. What else can we find around here? I know that I killed a bunch of guys and didn't loot them. Giddy up buttercup. I opened this, yeah. And there was a terminal that I didn't look at. Let's look at it now. <clears throat> uh, let's not activate... Well, we killed everything, so let's do it. Activate demo mode. Server status. Server offline. Note from management. Cooper, I don't understand what's so hard about this. All I'm asking you to do is turn off the military protocols on the robot shipment we got last night so we can put them on demo mode in the store. How hard could that be? You know computers. Are you too busy reading comics and playing games? Grow up and be a team player. Mr. Felix. That explains the other uh, note. Upstairs there was like a, uh, a screw you, I quit message. So that's why he was being asked to do something illegal. Safe I can't open? Very sad. Nothing in there. Bucket. There's a rad roach I already killed. A uh, screwdriver, military grade circuit board. There's a can there. Come on. There. Give me my can. Oh, it was an aluminum can. Well, la di da. Cigarettes. Lots of stuff here. Oh, it's all falling off the walls. Oops. That was not what I meant to do. Back off, back off. There was a hammer there, wasn't there? Maybe it's part of the bench, I don't know. Kind 
Come on. There. There. Got it. Okay. I think this area is good. There was more. I, I know there's at least one more handy. That one. Here's the bot inside of that loading dock. Anything here? No. I think we might be done. How much more space was that? It was another uh, 70. So, getting strong back would not have saved us. It, we needed to make that trip. Okay, let's uh, head on. Where are we going next? I don't know. I think we're spending more time just bumming around the area near Cambridge. <clears throat> Okay. Well, this has been a very productive part. We cleared Watts to consumer electronics. We reviewed all our weapon options now that we got the next rank of blacksmith. We even kicked off automaton. Yeah, I'm happy with this part. Very productive. But I think that's enough for now. So thank you everyone for watching. My name is Michael Young, and this has been Fallout 4.